Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can use the approval app. And if you're admin, you can also create templates and, and decide if you want it to be for a specific team or for the whole uh, organization. So where do we see the approval? I'll click the three dots and I see the approval here. I can also search for it if I don't see it. Once I'm here, I will see all of the uh, requests that are waiting for me and actually uh, you see this what was sent and what what I received and what I sent. Um, as you see here there's three types there's approvals uh, you can use Adobe Sign and uh, DocuSign as well. Uh, the nice thing that if you are admin here you can either um, uh, create your own, create and manage your own uh, templates. So you see here we give, uh, they give uh, specific templates where you can choose from, for instance discount and uh, it's based on categories, activities, administration, uh, attendance, finance and other things. So you can choose one of those and edit or you can even start from scratch. So let's start from scratch. I need to decide what uh, scope, what is the scope of the the template. It could be for a team, for specific people, or for the whole organization. Let's do it for whole organization. Let's give it a name. Let's call it uh, template two. I can choose a category. Let's say attendance and a description. I can click next. Now I could actually add the, the, the columns that I want uh, in the form. And actually it, it uses uh, Microsoft Forms. So for instance, I could choose a text, which will say um, first name. And I can say it's, it needs to be required. Here I can see also a subtitle and restrictions. I could choose uh, another one, which will be last name. And I could also um, put a choice uh, location. So let's call it Tel Aviv or other. And uh, let's add uh, also a date and due date. So once I have all of that, actually I can wait for it to be saved. I can press um, next. I can choose if I want the attachment to be uh, required. Uh, I could let the requester enter the approval or I can set specific people or I can put direct manager. So let's put uh, specific people. We can put multiple people, but let's keep it uh, that the requester can enter his approval. Here we can in response uh, take the default or we can uh, choose default is approved or rejected or here the user can ask, add uh, something different let's keep it as default now we see a preview actually of the what we filled and we can publish it let's give it a name let's call it a uh, name one and let's publish it if you remember here we see it's called template 2 and actually uh, it's on an org um, now if we uh, go to the approval again and we create and any user actually uh, creates a new request he will see a uh, template 2 and he can click on it and he will have all of the information and he can uh, send it and it will be um, sent to the person to be approved um, Notice that actually, um, if I go here, I can show you that this template was uh, org wide. Um, I have one which is only for the uh, group SSS. So I can show you how, how you see it. And you can do it also for, for specific uh, people. See, these are the specific people that uh, this template works. Just to show you the team, let's go to SSS which is the group that I created, the template for the group. And if I 
click on conversation and click on the three dots. Now look for um, approval. And you see that I will have, uh, in addition to the basic one and Adobe, uh, I'll have a template one, which is only available for this, uh, this uh, group. Um, now, in addition, there's a possibility to create uh, the templates for the admin center. In, in the next episode, I'll talk about it. Um, but also, as you saw, it's possible, by the way, if you want the approval to stay uh, on the left navigation, then actually you can pin it and then it, it stays there for good. Um, I just showed you that you can also create a template for an existing one. So let's create a new template. So let's choose instead of a scratch, let's take a swap shift. Okay. This is what it gives me, but actually I can decide what is the scope. Let's make it a uh, team. Let's choose uh, demo one. And now uh, actually I can uh, give it a, a name. I can edit it and add more questions. And uh, once it's ready, I can publish it. So you, you probably need to be uh, a Teams uh, admin, but uh, it's worth it. So um, you can test it, by the way, if you have a sandbox. Um, so this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, lots of potential. And if you like my video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, SharePoint uh, Wizard. And see you in the next episode.